yet because there's love in, there's love <laughs> no. involved and there's uh my son is holding me and showing affection which You're is sweating. making me itchy and you are sweating i need a spray <laughs> I need, thank, let me get the, let thank get you the sweat off your temple actually I, I think i think it was a tear actually i think it was tearing up okay uh, get out i'm doing video man everybody i'm tony fleming from fleming's ultimate garage thanks so much for joining me on your double vision you're probably thinking to yourself you've been drinking all day and i mean all day you're seeing double and that's exactly what's happening just kidding anyway what we're talking about here really is something that we've never experienced before and wanted to put something together uh, that maybe you'll never see again. Like think about Shelby GT500s in 1967 and 68 and how you missed out on buying that. Think about Hemi Cudas. Uh, think about the Carrera GT that was 300,000 that's now three and four million dollars, right? All of these cars you said, man, I wish I had done this. Man, I wish I had done this. Well, what you're looking at right now is gonna be that same exact thing as, man, I wish I had done this. You're talking about two first year and last year, Challenger Demons, right? We're talking about the 2018 launch here. This car has five miles on it, five miles on it, right? Ordered by uh, this person, okay? He also ordered a 2023, right? With single digit 15 miles on it, 15 miles on this car, okay? With the same serial numbers. The last six of the VIN, actually the last seven of the VIN, are exactly the same. Both the same colors, loaded with options. The window stickers are right here. They are pieces of art. They are pieces of history. And they are uh, really one of the fastest production cars ever produced by anyone ever, right? How do I know that? We're gonna talk about that in the next piece. All right, these cars are being sold as a pair. They're designed to be kept together. Can you imagine 20, 30, or 40 years from now when you have all the documentation that comes with these cars? All the red keys, all the black keys, all the original window stickers, all the documents we've had laminated for this, right? Super low mileage, plastic and stickers still all over the car from the factory, original tires. These could be multi, multi, multi million dollar cars. Might you ever even see them again? What if somebody buys these and you never see them again, right? It could be 50 years from now or f just like these Shelbys that are popping up. Some of these Cobras, right? Don't miss out is why I guess what I'm saying. So think about this for a second. This car here, 1,025 horsepower from the factory with a five-year warranty, right? It's on the window sticker. This car right here, 808 horsepower with a five-year warranty from the factory. Unbelievable, right? How is it possible you could buy a car off the showroom floor? The showroom floor from the factory with, uh, with horsepower over 1,000. Over a thousand, it's crazy, crazy. Anyway, so uh, loaded up with options. This is pretty rare too, that you're not gonna see a lot of these because it involves some structural rigidity changes. This has a factory sunroof in it. You can tell that because of the way the body is stamped, right? And not cut out and trim put in there. The, uh, this one here as well, the 2023 has a sunroof too, right? That may not seem like a big deal to you, but the 2023 sunroof costs $10,000 as a factory option. The 18 costs $5,000 as an option, which seems absolutely ridiculous when it's $2,000 for every other car in the world. However, there is some structural things that have gone on in here. When you have this kind of power, right? Most of the body of this vehicle has been changed, right? For instance, the axles and things like that. In this car, upgraded rear suspension probably from, uh, you know, I didn't do enough research to figure it out, but it's probably from the truck, right? Like these Jeep Trackhawks with, uh, with big horsepower have uh, upgraded pieces underneath them that come from heavy duty diesel units that make things just less destructible. You're talking about big sticky tires on here. You can see these are both uh, have the wide bodies on them. All right. This has the fender flares front and rear. This one for 2023. They do not put the flares on the front. You can order a set, have them painted. Uh, it would look really great. That's up to you. However, if you just want to leave them the way they are. A couple other things too. All of the trim, the shipping pieces, this has not been drilled for a tag bracket. These are bone stock off the showroom floor, off the assembly line, cool cars. 200 and 20 mile an hour speedometer on here, 220. I don't know how fast these cars will go. They got big transmissions, they got a lot of power and you could be laying down power for days and days. 
throw in the fact that it has power windows and Alcantara and leather interiors, beautifully stitched steering wheels, climate control, backup cameras, uh, every modern accoutrement that you could possibly want to enjoy these cars is, is in these cars and they're 200 mile an hour cars. That just goes crazy to me. All right, so uh, let's move on to the paint and talk about that next. All right, so Plum Crazy Paint uh, is really just, what a color, man. What a color, what a cool name. Come on up here and check this out. This is factory paint. It's got metallic in it, and it shines, and it's deep, and it looks good, and it reflects, and it is just show-worthy. Great looking. Anytime you throw a metallic paint in there, this is a 2018. Let's go over here and look at the 2023. Beautiful paint as well. Painted on the assembly line and then clear coated. All right. This right here, the 2023 says alcohol injected, right? Why, uh, why do we have the name 170 here? Most of you already know that. If you haven't looked it up, let me tell you what it is. That is the proof. That is the alcohol proof of ethanol. And this is ethanol injected to get all the horsepower that you want out of that because it needs that for the octane to run at that. And then once that's working, man, it is ready to go. All right, I want to talk about uh, the brakes in here because if you're going to go fast, you have to be able to stop, right? I guess that's the rule uh, that we all need to live by. I see some muscle cars that we get sometimes with these big giant like 7.4 liter engines or 428s and what have you with drum brakes. I'm like... What? The factory sold that stuff. The factory learned their lesson. They don't do that anymore. These right here, Brembo brakes, right? With big slotted rotors in here, and they are big. They're like truck style big, because obviously you need to slow those down, and they're four wheel, so they're front and rear, all right? And then over on the 2023, the brakes are even bigger. Three-piece rotors, uh, Brembo's as well, bigger caliper, bigger uh, disc. You got, you know, uh, 225 more, 220-ish, we'll call it, horsepower here, uh, and you need to be able to stop these cars. This is the biggest brakes on an American car that I have ever seen. All right, so let's talk about power for a second. So, uh, there's some detail stuff that some people don't really know about. You may know, you may not. If this is helpful, great. All right, so let's talk about this. It says air grabber right there. So we're starting with fresh, dense air in here coming into this, right? The, uh, all the other SRTs, right, have 6.4 liter engines. This uses a smaller 6.2 liter engine and a steel block. Why? Because when you're trying to get this kind of power out of here, it's very difficult to get an aluminum block to hold up to that kind of pressure, so they know that. That's how they're able to warranty these cars as well. You can see the size of the supercharger here. Not to mention these are hand-built, hand-checked at the factory, run at the factory before they're, uh, before they're shipped out to make sure that you're getting what you're getting without embarrassing yourself. Serpentine belt system running the supercharger, air conditioning, power steering, and all that good stuff. This is compact. It's amazing how you get that kind of power out of all of this inside here, right? So having said that, this is a little bit different here, all right, in the sense that this has also uh, the ability to have ethanol uh, injection too, so that uh, you can get the extra horsepower out of it. And you can see that it also has the Ram air system, but all the little decals, stickers, and what have you are all in place from the factory. This is what I mean when I say a show car because, uh, and a collectible car is because it's all original in here, right? These are super low miles with all the documents. When you start them up, they just sound so great. And strangely, like, it's almost impossible to tell that there's that much horsepower under these because they idle easily. They have these huge intercoolers in the front. They have all the modern accoutrements inside. It's really nice. We'll go check it out. All right, so I think the 2018 Demon has two roles, right? It could be potentially a road racing car with paddles. This has 18s all the way around. Obviously, we saw the big brakes that are in there and the three-piece rotors uh, in the front. This has nittos, and they are sticky. They are wide. They are, do not have a lot of, like, snow or rain capability. Just to be thinking about that. Uh, the style of these cars is great. Remember, this is last call. What does that mean? Well, if you've ever been in a bar and they call last call for alcohol, that's what it means. It's over. This means it's over. The last call is here, and that is 2023 and why these are so collectible, right? All right, so uh, we have the 18s there. 
Move over here to the uh, 170, and we have 18s in the front, okay? But we have 17s in the rear because we have Mickey Thompson's on the back here, right? And if you touch these things, you can almost not get your hand off them. They're super sticky and uh, beautiful. They still have all the little rubber titties on them, nipples, whatever you want to call them, uh, are still all around it. And uh, obviously you can tell the difference quickly from the, the cars because this doesn't have uh, the wide bodies in the front. Um, and that is it. Other than that, two stylish gray cars from behind because that's pretty much the only view anyone's ever going to see if they decide to challenge you. This shot that you see right now is designed for you to see what it looks like walking up to your cool this car is so good Look at The fender flares, the big wheels and tires that don't even fit inside there, the big humps, lumps, and bumps all over. Anyway, let's jump inside and see what you're getting because while you're spending the time looking outside, you're gonna spend most of your time inside. All right, in here, this is just amazing to me. Like you got a 200 mile an hour speedometer here. Uh, you got a 7,000 RPM tack. And then you have all the modern things that you can want. You got heated seats. You got SRT mode. You got launch control. If you've never seen how launch control works, it's really cool. Let me tell you real quick. Launch control is you uh, set it up. You push the launch. You get it in drive. You put your foot to the floor. Okay. It holds it at a certain RPM and you step off the brake. The engine control management, the anti-lock brakes, uh, some of the other uh, safety features work together in coordination to manage the power to the wheels. It can actually apply brakes to different wheels that are slipping more than others. And as it wheels its way on down the road, it doesn't overpower uh, the rear wheels and everything go up in smoke and you lose, right? This manages the power. Most modern race cars have all that in it already and that's the way they work. Maybe F1 cars, F1 motorcycles, all the same. Here's the Demon call out with how many uh, in its sequential that it was built is number 2635. And then in here you have everything from Harman Garden uh, uh, sound systems to leather and Alcantara seating with the stitching here that matches other Alcantara steering wheel. The sunroof that we talked about, which is nice with a sunshade. You could seat people in the back. You could drive this car if you wanted to, man. It's okay, I think, probably to put some miles on these uh, because I still think that they're going to have huge amounts of value down the road as the, as the gas power car could be over. We could go hybrid for everything and electric plus, so who knows? It's pretty cool and pretty nice inside. All right, so come join me in here in the 2023 model. We still got all the plastic on the seats, plastic on the floor. This interior is a little bit different than the uh, than the 18 uh, because we have uh, a mat. Uh, we have the Alcantara steering wheel with uh, matching stitching, which is similar, but we have this matte carbon trim in here. Uh, we have a 220 mile an hour speedometer instead of the wheezing 200 mile an hour speedometer. I'm just thinking, I'm laughing at myself, thinking, what does it feel like to be on the gas? still right on the gas at 200 miles an hour and you can buy this off the showroom floor and you can drive with a heated seat on while it, that's happening that's i'm blown away by all that that's why i had to do these got the paddle shifters here so you don't have to worry about anything going on there you're just rah, 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 trying to breathe right you can't even breathe because you're so much power that's the best day ever <laughs> All right, so we closed up these videos. You're not seeing double vision, man. These are real. These are two beautiful cars. Let's run down some of the things that, uh, that make something so special as what we're seeing today. We have a 15-mile car and a 5-mile car. We have a first-year car and a last-year car. We have matching colors. We have loaded with all the options you can get, including the, the sunroofs in these cars, all right? Throw in the fact that they have the matching VIN numbers to them as well. They have all the documentation from the factory. We have tons of stuff. The 2018 comes with the crate, comes with all the stuff in the crate. It's never even been used. It's been open once to look at. That's it. Uh, and then can you imagine walking up to these in your collection? And you're like, wow, man, these are so cool because right now you're not getting it. And I'll tell you why. If a Shelby Mustang GT500 KR was, I'll use some round number of say $6,000. That was a lot of money, that's Corvette money, right? You didn't touch Corvettes and stuff like that, $7,000, whatever, in 1967, $8,000, right? Ferrari was maybe $12,000 or $14,000. But, but if that car was, we'll use a big number of $7,000 for a GT500 KR, right? 
Those cars are selling for a million plus now. Hemi Cuda is selling for two million, three million. Hemi Superbirds, two million, three million. You may be buying these cars today as an investment. You probably realize you're paying more than they were uh, the sticker price recommended for the factory, but the dealers were getting hundreds of thousands of dollars over sticker price for these cars because they knew something. These are special. This is it. There are no more. This is the last of the gas-powered, super high horsepower things. And the simple fact is that you have these two cars uh, so identical down to the VIN numbers uh, is amazing to me. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll explain to you all about this collection and figure a way to get it in your garage. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time. Maybe share it with your friends. They might like to see it as well. And I'll see you on the next one.